Welcome back to One Shot. It's time to save the world. Again. Copies for grown ups. That's right. Looks like my life's work's finally being put to good use. As long as we conserve the water we have on hand, my water pills should be able to keep everyone here from getting thirsty for weeks. Stand smells sugary. Candy skewers, fresh off the grill. Not very nutritious, I'm afraid. They still keep the evacuees from getting hungry. Also, apparently the the trick for the lens puzzle that I flubbed, um, you're supposed to talk to the vendors. The street vendors have hints, apparently. Oh my gosh, this guy is still a jerk. Worst character. The archival room is currently being used as an infirmary. We apologize for the inconvenience. It's okay. I need to find out how this book ends. Uh, if I die, I want to die reading. Passionate. I like that. City gate was destroyed a while back. Can't get in the Glen anymore. Not sure where I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. Still have plenty of these soup dumplings left. Looks like I should feed everyone here for at least another day. Kitties! The kitties are safe! The world's gonna be much colder soon. At least I can keep everyone here warm. Everyone in the frickin' refuge. A plus effort. Holy crap, people. Computer. It's currently off. Music here is still haunting, but I can... I feel like there's like a note of hope in it now. It's a little plant. You go through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. The author is an artist. Oh. I where the author is. He apparently just kind of stopped showing up. Head librarian says he's still getting his manuscripts, but I haven't seen him in person in so long. Uh, most people have been assuming the worst. Big book with a black cover on the cover. Post Sun World. Yeah, we already read this. And the group of evacuees should be arriving soon. I hope my friends are okay. The world being the way it is now. Just glad the author was able to write down all this stuff before everything went off the rails. Computer. It's got me off. So that's why the author was able to write so many different things, because he was trying to chronicle the world. You know, it's it's hard to reference anything particular without major spoilers, but this does seem this particular brand of post-apocalyptic fiction does seem to be ever more popular. And I I even I have a little story that's very vaguely a little bit like this, and it makes me kind of sad because I had the idea before I read any, read or played any of the games that lately have had the idea, but, um, it always sucks to have an original idea and then somebody else has it. And it's like, the, the thing is, you know, that, that's gonna happen. There's seven billion people, somebody's gonna do the same thing. But, uh, we always reward whoever does it first. But you know, as long as everybody does it well, it doesn't really matter if it's not completely giga original. And it's not even necessarily less original just because somebody else did it first. Like, you know, uh, what's that called? Spontaneous discovery or whatever. You know, you, you wouldn't necessarily have gotten the idea from somebody else just because somebody else also had a similar idea. Anyway, books neatly on shelf. He's writing in his sleep. Impressive. Looks I'll have to cancel my appointment. This stinks. You know, I finally saw the author today. Well, his flying machine, at least. I was looking out the windows in the library, and I spot it in the distance with my binoculars. You are binoculars! Isn't that cool, Messiah? Yeah. When the world ends, it'd be better if it was gone in an instant or just slowly fading away. Heh. <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with the ladder. faster than I would care for the world to end either way, honestly. Um, what are you doing to that book? Editing it! I've been in the otter shadow for my entire career. I want to die soon. I want to die knowing that I put at least one original idea out. <sighs> he, he he would be having a much better day if he just heard my, my screed a second ago. Yawn. I don't know why I said it like that. I should have just yawned. The lab complex got totaled, didn't it? Yeah. All those hours I put in my work, and now... Now... She fell asleep. Well, at 
least most of them made it out. Robots are the only ones we can send out there now. Thankfully, we still have a couple units that aren't too badly damaged. Monitoring, monitoring. Looks like our scouting unit A2 is 7 is still going okay. I had to leave my aquarium behind and there sounded the sirens earlier. Wish I had time to rescue my fish. Messiah. It's comforting to see the faith you have in Tap Tap, Messiah. That's why I won't lose hope either. How do you know what... I guess he heard my speech. The world is ending, what are we gonna do? The one sane person here, thank you. What, you need something? No, suit yourself. But just so you know, due to recent events, the restriction on noise level in the library has been temporarily lifted. So I won't be kicking out people like before. Uh, what? You think I'm gonna be thrown out of evacuees just because I'm a delinquent stuck behind doing community service? No. Good, because I'm not. Okay. Reasonable Dan. That's what I'm going to call that guy. Reasonable Dan. Very reasonable fellow. The library is currently being used as a shelter right now. Lots of these squares are starting to show up in the streets. I know. This library was built fairly recently, you know. Shortly after the first squares appeared, they wanted to build some place that would withstand partial collapse. Architects used the newest, strongest materials they had. Thank goodness for that. This thing is still so freaking creepy. Evening news, evening news. Everything is terrible. <laughs> Agreed. Mr. Soda Man. Reading helps me get my mind off things. They're sorting the books. Yep, still scared of letters. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Head outside. Hello, person. This is the library temporary shelter. Not even gonna stop me, are you? Yeah, it doesn't really look <laughs> particularly stable, but uh, what do I know? Squares are here too. I guess we just gotta go see Rue. Shush. It's a big fish tank. That still has the old music. Uh, squares are just everywhere. Where are those squares? All right. Third vision was here. Interesting. You don't even have the third vision. Bag full of trash. Gross. Guess we just gotta go straight to Rue. Oh, Please do not approach. Hey, Rue! You're here! Nico! Are you Rue? Yes! Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but everything is in place then. Come on, let's go to the clock room. <laughs> she seems chipper about the whole affair. Look at her go! Just wonder if there's anything over here. Can we get to the... Gotta go back up, I guess. I thought we needed three people. What do we do, Rue? What's the game plan? Where are the other two? Prototype? Cedric? They're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with the memory disc, but he was in the lab complex when it collapsed. 
I don't think he made it. Oh. No. I'm so sorry. There goes our only chance. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should apologize to you. There's one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. What do you mean upstairs? This one's red. Is it the balcony? There's nothing up here though. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in the world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives might be behind each of the windows. Can you lift me onto the banister? I want to get a better look. Aww. That was depressing for me at first too, you know. Knowing all of this is, well, fake. Simulated. Cedric told me what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how he must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again? That's probably not that all that did from your, from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You're prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the Entity. Oh, the Entity does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the Dice Lady from another time. Was it the Spirit of the World? Yes! But the thing is, the World Machine was only built, ever built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long, simply ingrained in his work. And all machines are built with the fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world's machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most fundamental instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately, sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see the physical manifestations of that everywhere now. So it's trying to destroy itself to save me. Or, Nico. Squares. It's where the world's corrupting its own code. The creator says it's largely an involuntary process, induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. The disruption was an, I an issue during the test runs, even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over again and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the res world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds against are. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I've heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated. That has to deal with robots, but for once, I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah. No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Uh... A robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass-produced, they can be assigned to all sorts of jobs. Most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code and the knowledge they are a robot. This is more of a limitation than anything else. Uh, that makes sense. You can't Build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried. It's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what's happened to the world machine. 
the code conflicts thing? Yeah. But you can't build a robot to follow its own code. To not follow its own code. You can establish a special bond with it. The strength of that bond is strong enough. The robot's mental capacity was hard to develop outside of its own programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complex suspension of disbelief on your end, though. We have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even knowing they're not. We spend a lot of time with it. Treat it like a good friend. Devoting your heart to the robot until it's able to return your feelings. Haha, <laughs> I made it sound so easy, don't I? But you and TapTap -tap know better than anyone that it's not. You know, right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involved some pretty deep code work. My creator was accessed, able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could to make it. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such extent it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you're in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. All my creator wanted to do was write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. Now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're going to get you there. Uh oh. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Cedric! You guys are okay? Yep. And the factory started collapsing. I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. Actually, it did not take it. Actually, it did not take me too long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. I made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines here. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. <laughs> that he does. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Same. We're ready to go now, Nico. <laughs> I got the whole party. Well... All right then, I think it's just about time to split, so next time we see what activating this freaking machine does. So stay tuned.